Central Rooks is going to make a substitution coming in, Joe, number 25. Darren Clement. So Clement uh, is a little bit taller. He'll be in there now and going to the sideline. Yeah, we'll have to pick it up. I can't see who went over there. Maybe McLeod. I guess it was McLeod. The hand with the ball. Stockdale is out to him. The hand goes to Lane. Puts it up and in. And he's fouled. A nice basket inside. A good play. That's the two little guys on the floor, the two floor generals, uh, making the move. You can see him going around the screen. Doesn't even make it. Tries to make good defense to him. Just reaches the hand in and has some problems right there. 5 7 left. Timeout by Lee. 52 to 39. As they've taken their second timeout in about a little over a minute and uh, 30 seconds. Well, I think that's probably a smart timeout to do because uh, Randy's got to make the changes here to get back into the ball game. He's got to have some offense. Not sure what he's going to try to do with his ball club. Uh, he worked a little bit there where he had some oh, problems. Oh, look, look at this. This is great. We could do that, Joe. The now, we can roll over. over. We could probably do that. And, hey, there'd be a bigger role if we had you <laughs> and I and Mr. Fowler <laughs> and Bob Leahy. I mean, there'd be no great. Way. We could take most of the SPA committee people out here and make a great way. Right in the buck street. I think that'd be a possibility. And the panda bear with her. Probably West Jordan's <laughs> going to go there and put the ice there. So Clement stays in the game. Lee Academy down 52 to 39 with 5.07 left. As all of a sudden, it's been the quick hands of young Mr. Smith. He's done a good Mark job. He has. He's done a good quick. job. He's, he's caused uh, at least three turnovers and almost a fourth. Well, most coaches in the tournament take a look for someone to take charge when the, when the pressure comes on from a little bit. And I know the pressure's in the flank, but somebody has to take charge. Right now, Smith has done it for Central Rooster. The hand misses the foul shot. Five minutes left in this game. As Sawtell comes down with it, he starts to move toward the middle now. Now it goes to Brown, got it by Week. Brown of uh, Lee Academy. Now Sawtell to Osgood. Osgood looks now. He's going to bounce it into Sawtell. Sawtell starts to turn back to Osgood. Osgood starts to move back to Sawtell. Sawtell is going in the lane. Off to Dill. Dill's going to stop. He's going to put the pop up to the air ball. And Week saves it up to Sintabo. Sintabo starts down with it now. Works to the left side. Back outside to Week. 431. They've got the ball in the lead. Week shots in. Week is going to turn and being fouled by Osgood. The old clear out, Joe. That's the old single sack. They take the four guys, line them up on the other. All the players lined up to the right side. Here comes number 30 over to help, and then they're going to get called the foul, I think, on Osgood. They're going to take the ball out on me. Osgood's second personal foul. Take the ball in. There's Mahan. His long outside ball. Yes, all net. He can only, uh, he made layups the last game. He's making outside shots this game. Oof. No question. No rim, Joe. Didn't even hit the iron. 54 to 39 as the Central Rooster team starts to pull away. And if they continue to pull away, it'll be an all Aroostook final between Washburn and number 33, Shuri, has just fouled out of the game. There it is. Play coming down. Kind of a reaching foul. He didn't anticipate which way it was going to happen. Shuri's coming out. Nice hand at times from the crowd on the other side for Shuri. Billy doesn't have too much problems in uh, matching the heights of Shuri. He's going to put Holmes back in. Holmes a big boy. And don't be fouled by Holmes. And he's going to be out. <laughs> I think someone should move underneath boys. He's got the tallest player on the floor, and he's going to be next to the foul shooter. So he's going <laughs> to cut off the foul shooter, right? Well, now he moves down at least. If I was Mr. Sensible, I would say, okay, Mr. Holmes, you've got my, my spot. If he gets a rebound, it takes your philosophy all the <laughs> pieces. <laughs> Come on, Jill, you've got to make this one. Yes. Nice shot. 54 to 40 now, 14 point lead as the Central Rooster team has just exploded in this fourth period. Probably going to see uh, Lee Academy now go full court pressure all over the place, Joe. Second shot is up, and that's good. Nice two foul shots by Brian Dill, 54 to 41. There's the pressure, full court. They do get the ball back. There's the turnover. Brian comes up with it as he shots down the other way. Brian Dill is a junior. And a foul is going to be called on Smith. I like the way that the official crawls up to the offender <laughs> and says, kind of job in the end. You got him. <laughs> That's part of the, uh, the job of the official is to go point to the fellow that has it. I, I still like the old way. And I, as much as I think Bob Leahy was in coaching, I still like the idea where the guy would raise his hand. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And 
most kids will do it. Most coaches will say, hey, raise your hand. Let the people in the audience know who it was. You're not being uh, tapped like the pros and they say 15-yard penalty on number 53 for holding. It's not that way. It helps out a lot of people, especially helps out the announcers and the scorers. The foul shot made by Dill. That's three in a row for him. 54-42 with 3.58 left. Takes plenty of time. Ten seconds. That's that foul shot. He makes it. So the full court pressure on. Weeks now off to Smith. Still in the backcourt. Weeks starts with it. Triple team. Now in the middle of the ball. He comes. Bounce out to home. He's inside. Puts it up on the glass and in. That's how you beat the press. Just bring it down. Dump it in the middle. Stop the foul line. Keep somebody underneath the layup. 56 43. Dill. Dill starts toward the baseline. Holmes is there. Now Smith. Comes back in the middle of Brown. Brown's going to turn, take the pop, and he hit. That's right, that's 56 to 45. They're staying in it. It's going to be on Brown. Good call. They had to do a little bit of pressure. They've got to take a chance. Lee has got to go after him. Lee Academy kids, uh, they put their hands up on the fouls. They don't uh, question the official calls. A cloud comes back in. Darren Clement leaves. Clement is only a sophomore. As we used to say, sophomore. Sophomore. Smith with the ball. Now turns, down goes Sawtell. Mahan, now back to Smith. Now Weeks, Weeks is going to be the man that's going to hold the ball. McLeod is going to guide him. Mahan has it now, 309 left in this contest. 56 to 45. Brown goes with field behind the back goes Smith off the glass high, no good. Rebound is tipped around for Buffalo Dill. They got a three on two. There goes Sawtell up there. Oh, nice play that time. Good feed that time. You get down on a three on two break and just have an easy layup. A foul on Sartell, stops the clock at least. Nothing wrong with it, Joe. Oh, 51 and down nine. Sartell doing his job. He made a good layup that time going underneath there in the land of giants, as you people have been saying, and uh, made a good move. Uh, Randy Harris has done an excellent job of coaching this team. Here it is, and there it was. We were back live. As Mahan will go to the foul line. Important foul shot as Clement comes back in, and McLeod leaves the guy. Ball the Academy. The Pandas, uh, one, 251 left. Foul shot's important. So, good rebound by Clement. Good substitution. That's the guy that made the rebound right there, and there comes McLeod coming He's back the in. Designated uh, rebounder. Designated rebounder. Comes inside. Clement takes the pop. It's no good. Rebound tip. Goes and goes out of bounds. And it'll be what? Lead ball? Yep, instead of went off the Central Lucid. Jerry Adams, the official pointing the other way, and they bring the sub back in. Clement's going out, and the crowd's coming back in. So the designated re rebounder goes out as McCown is the designated passer in us. He comes back in the game. Comes in the middle. Dill, Dill gets around. Dill's in the middle. Dill pulls it up, and he draws the foul. Oh, gets an action here, Willie. Well, they'll be coming, Joe. Sendrabar trying to push him out of the way a little bit, using the body. Has his hand right up straight, but he makes a good contact as with his stomach a little bit, causing the foul, and I believe he's going to have a two-shot foul. In, so Cle in comes Clement again, and out goes McClough. So Dill misses. Dill has uh, been perfect at the line here in the latter pad at four for four. That's probably so the strategy now. He's going to make this one, miss the second. Clement's going to tip it in. Uh, you probably give him the kiss. Yeah. 56 to 48 now. An eight-point difference. 235. Plenty of time as the Academy makes their rush. We're getting ready for the second one. As Dill takes plenty of time on that foul line. Gets ready, puts it up. Yes! Six in a row, 56 to 49. 234 left, full court pressure. Mahan sat down. Mahan off now to Smith. Smith with the ball. Brown, Brown goes for the steal, he draws the foul. Almost made it go. Good effort that time. Brown almost was quick enough to get behind uh, Smith. But I hope they show able. that one. Maybe they'll get a different angle of it. As Brown trying to make the steal. And going the line will be Smith. So the one and one. Good. Nice shot by the senior. Mark has been the guy that's taking charge in the second half right now. He's the one that's made the uh, the team move a little bit. Created the turnover. 57 to 49. But it's no good. Rebound by Clement. There he is again. Off to Brown. Now Sartell. 222 left. Coming down to the left side. This pass is partially deflected. Goes to Osgood. Osgood fakes now. Goes to the top to Sartell. Sartell's going to take the outside bomb. It's off no good. Rebound inside by Brown. Uh, Dill runner and Dill puts it up and in. Nice play. Lee needs a turnover. They need a couple turnovers being down six. Weeks to the ball. Weeks turns. In the dribble. Goes to Mahan. They want timeout. Good timeout. 
go with 166 left in this contest. Temple Lucy calls timeout, and they lead by a score of 57 to 51. Well, Coach Harris has made his uh, defensive change again. He's put the McLeod back in. Clement's going to be going out. Billy McAvoy's going to make a decision on what he wants to do, whether or not he wants to stay with what has got him a six-point lead or whether they're going to go into a semi kind of a stall. they got to set up some double team because that's what Lee is doing right now. They're being able to get to somebody and all of a sudden trap it. Uh, Brown has made a couple of real good moves uh, out there for Lee trying to steal the ball, but he got caught that last time in the foul. And I think that's what Billy's trying to work on. You can see Coach Harris talking to his kids. We sit here and look at the coaches, and they say, did the kid really know what he's talking about? Sure, they know what the coach is talking about. There's two rules. The coach is right. <laughs> if the coach is wrong, see rule number one. He's always going to be right. And the kids know what he's saying. We sometimes sit and listen to him. Do you ever see one of those shot shots when they show them the last second plane that looks like all these lines on it? It's like one of those Madden, uh, uh, Madden things, and he's on TV and he draws these plays. Exactly what the coach does. The kids know what to do. So Central Rustic will have the ball in front of their own bench. Comes outside the home. I know he wasn't going to handle the ball. He knew he was going to get the ball right there. Weeks, Weeks wants to move. Now they go. They stack on that side. Now it's got the break. Comes out to Mahan. Mahan with the ball. Still with the ball. And Brown is fouling. Good play. Brown, won. I think that's exactly what the coach wanted to do. He says, hey, if we're going to try to get the ball back, we've got to put him on the line. We don't want the clock to go that far. So we'll create the foul. They got to put somebody on their line. Most guys are good shooters. I'm surprised he might not try to get to Holmes, but Holmes is not going to handle the ball. And the designated rebound that comes back, Mr. Clement. The cloud leaves. And getting ready to come in will be Mc So also a smaller team for the Central Rooster team. But uh, McCrum and Simpson probably also Joe would be a good foul shooting team. I would assume that uh, all kids are good foul shooters, but some, some of them has to be better than somebody else. Games tonight. Pop up and good. 59 to 51. 143 left in this contest. As Sartell will now handle the ball. He's his shots down with it. 141 left. Shots the turn. Gives to Osgood. They're going to put the ball up. Now goes over to Dill. Dill on the baseline. Dill's pop. It's no good. Rebound by Sinsabo. He turns away with it. He's coming down. He's going to beat Sartell. And the ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Central Rusick's ball. Tough play. Sartell has done a good job. I'm still impressed with that young fellow. He's being only a sophomore. He's a good floor general out there. Have a good shot right there from our camera work. Comes off to Mahan. Now in the corner to Weeks. Weeks holds. 59 to 51. Comes back outside to Smith. Now back to Weeks. Weeks is a guy forward. Now he shots to the left side. All kinds of hands come after him, and Osgood is fouling. And Weeks want to plead his case. He wants two shots. Weeks wanted two shots on the now play. He says no, one on one. So there it is. Almost. But here it is, most. <laughs> Two on one right there. One of the four guys had to follow. Him. Four guys out there trying to fall. 59 to 51, 112 left. Knocked up the top of the lid, no good. Taken off by Osgood. Off to Sartell as they start to rush down. Sartell still in the dribble. Going to take those pops. It's around. It's no good. Inside by Clement. Puts it up. Oh, no good. But he's going to draw the foul. Clement's going to go for the uh, foul shot. It's a good rebound. Uh, Randy Harris has done exactly what he wanted Clement to do. He's in there for board work, and that's exactly why he's in there. See there the ball going up here. Shot again. Clement getting good position. Somebody just didn't box out right there, 32. That was McCrum, and he's uh, fouling. McLeod coming back in for McCrum. So missed a second, right? You well, see McLeod can't come in because he's coming in for... I know, but that's I say. Yep. He can stay in the game if he misses one, but he's going to try to make two here. 59 to 51, 103 left. From the shot is ooh, the rims in and out. Well, it's tough coming off the bench when uh, you're a little bit cold and then you've got to come on with some pressure and try to make a foul shot. Tough being in the game, Joe, and shoot that. <laughs> Summit now dips, aims it up, and gets ready for this shot. It puts it up, and it's good. And he'll leave. 59 to 52 now. The score 103 left as the Lee Academy Pandas have not given up. They're still pecking away. Goes to Mahan, back to Weeks. Weeks puts the pass, he's being fouled by McLeod. I think we're going to see a lot of fouls, Joe. If they can stay within that uh, seven-point range for a while, there's going to be a few fouls made. If they can cut it down a little bit, uh, there it is. Central Rusick is, uh, is going to be on the foul line, and, and Lee Academy is going to be doing I'd like to know on the percentages of what Randy has done with him. I think he's probably had four or five boards, and he scored a couple points, and uh, there's your spot player. You have uh, <laughs> your designated people to do different jobs. Weeks again. Taken off by Brown. Sits the ball. Steals the ball. 
Throws it off to Weeks. Weeks goes on the floor. Sits around. Osgood has it. And Osgood is being fouled by Smith. And Smith says no. Hate to, hate to see Mac. Take a look. Yeah, we had to say uh, Harry made the right call. The ball's on the floor. Nothing wrong with this. And uh, he'll see Smith Ooh. right there. <laughs> and that's not quit, Anthony. The jury is out. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> and we make the move again. Uh-oh. Now, this is a change. Coach has gone differently now. He's put him back in. And... Uh, so we're seven point difference here, 52 seconds. Lee Academy is trail. Osgood has a chance now to get closer. Put the foul shot up. Yes, on net. Lee Academy, Joe, has got some good talent coming back uh, next year. Although they're going up into the C classification, so that might make a little bit of difference. But uh, they've got some talent. Osgood only being a junior. Nice foul shot by Osgood again. 59 to 54. Stealing by McLeod. Goes the baseline off the Sartell. They got to get the ball in the air. Oscar's outside. Yes! Bingo. He hits! 59 to 56! We got a good one and a foul. And it's going to be called on Dill. Nothing wrong with that one. If he didn't follow me, he had two guys from Central Lucia sitting at this end of the basket. Wasn't anybody down here playing defense. They were all going for the ball. They're doing exactly what Coach Harris wants them to do. If they're going to win it, put on a foul line. You can take a look. You can almost count the docks through it. There's four of them sitting right there, and there's about three of the kids in the white uniform sitting at the other end. They just couldn't get the ball up to them. So Tillman Mahan, the 5'8 senior, on the line. Good pressure foul shot. He looked over here at you, so. And he's probably looking to the camera. Executive producer. Executive producer, Mr. Fowler. Am I going to get a tape of this? Good! Good two foul shots by Mahan. 61 to 56, 40 seconds left. Got a hurry, Lee. McLeod down with it. Bounce pass inside to Osgood. A nice play by Mahan to save it. He turns, Smith, and he's being fouled from behind by McLeod. A good play that time. Mahan made a nice defensive play. The ball gets captured away. Mahan jumped out of bounds. What's happening to somebody? As Clement comes back in the game. And McLeod will leave. 32 seconds, five-point difference. 61 to 56. If he misses this, he'd get a basket, get a little bit closer. A lot of things can happen here. Never will know. Foul shots are important. They have been tough. Mahan and Smith have been very tough on the line down the stretch here when it's so important. We don't think foul shots are important. Watch these young people. Up and good. On net again. 63 56 to score. 32 seconds left. Sawtill starts down to Dill. Long outside shot by Dill. Rebound by Sinsabal. He loses it, but picked up in there by Mahan. And Mahan's going to have a player control foul. That's, that's close, Joe. That's frustration. So the ball over to Harry Stone. You see where he is. No question. He hits him dead center in the middle of the chest, and that's going to be the uh, play of control. Uh, frustrations are tough. You have to be very careful. You don't all of a sudden get a, something foolish such as a technical foul. But no, foul fish, no foul shots on play of control. <laughs> that's probably worse it was. There isn't. Sawtell. Sawtell's going to put it up, and he may draw the play of control. No, it's my hand again. <laughs> Mahan can't believe it. Just, uh, 15 is fouled for the third time. Mark Smith did a nice job that time to run over. And you can see him. He says in the uh, Gary Adams being the official, in his judgment, he just didn't have position quick enough. And the Smith boy runs over to tell uh, Mahan, hey, we don't need any technical fouls. So on the line now will be Bub Sotel. Howdy, Bub. As he gets ready to the foul shot, he puts it up and in. They're crazy at both ends on the foul shot. It's 63 to 57. Nice 21 looking. seconds left. Nice looking young man, Joe. Doesn't it look, you hate to say it, but he looks like he's in the Pee Wee League of the elementary grade. Right. Foul shot's made. Two foul shots, 63 to 58. Now the inbounds pass. It's going to be a foul on Osgood. Against stay up one second then. That's what they were after. I was saying about the Bud Sartell. He might look like he's playing in Pee Wee League or elementary or junior high basketball, but boy, he has a lot of floor strength out here. And it's going to be a good player for Coach Harris in the next couple of years if he's got left the eligibility at Lee Academy. So Harris now is telling him. But it's not going to no good! Rebound comes off the Dill, and a foul is going to be on Sinsaball. So now things are changing here. They'll be down by three. With 19 seconds, each time down, one second was eaten off the clock, Bill. Oh, that's we, five on Simsaball. What do they say, Joe? It isn't over until the uh, that lady sings. Yogi, right? Yogi somebody. <laughs> is it, it isn't over until Mr. Fowler sings? Is that, is that what happened? <laughs> he cannot sing. Ooh. 
Our camera people are getting in position now, 63 to 58. I think what they want to do now, if Dill can sink the pair, then they might call a timeout to set up a defense, or maybe not. But Dill has been pretty good at the line. Takes the foul shot up and good! 63 to 59. 19 seconds. Aren't you ashamed you went away from this one? It's been a good ball game, Joe. Well played, well coached. There's been a little bit of strategy in both parts, and uh, it's been well done so far. So we'll see if Dill can make this shot and see what Lee Academy can do. Yes! 63 to 60. Full court pressure, and the foul is going to be called on Sortel. And I believe it's going to be the one-on-one. Mahan wanted the two-shot job. A good, a good play that time. Uh, Coach Harris had Sortel. I think we had, what, one or two seconds? There it is. Goes back in. One second was eaten off the clock. Foul foul, and they put him back on the foul line. So now the strategy of Mahan can miss the foul shot. We can get the ball. They'll go down again with it. But Mahan has been pretty good at the foul line. The foul shot's up and good. Pressure foul shots by Smith and Mahan. Practice, 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 Joe. How many times do you practice foul shots? Takes the dribble, looks up. Shoots a high foul shot. Yes, a pair. 65 to 60, 18 seconds. Sawtell down with it now. Shots with it. Goes toward the middle. Bounce pass to Osgood. Osgood shot is no good. Rebound by Week. 11 seconds left. And a foul is going to be called on Dill. He might have called intentional right off the bat, Joe. See if it is. If it is, that yes. will yeah, well, yeah. just about do it right there. There it is. Ooh, it may be probably a good call by Harry Schoenberg. Yep. So now no <laughs> one lines up. Week gets two plus the ball out of the infraction. We were talking with, uh, with Pete Webb, uh, the assistant commissioner of basketball, saying that the responsibility they might go into that rule next year and Federation basketball rules of having the option of taking the ball out on this or yeah, I foul shot is up and good. He makes one of two. 66 to 60, but there's only 10 seconds left. So they get the ball out of bounds at the point of the infraction. That's where it happened down there. And Mahan will put in, uh, comes into Mahan, and he gets a foul from Sartell. So he'll go to the line for one and one. And only one second went off. So they had quick on the foul to stop that clock. This is what they're trying to avoid, Joe. At the end of a basketball game, it's probably taking minutes just to play the last three or four minutes of the game, and I think that's what the rules people are trying to avoid in the National Federation to get something a little bit differently. Randy oh. Harris making subs now. Thuringham comes in, as well as Clement. As Dill and Brown go out, they played uh, five. This time he misses. Taken off in there by Ham, who was in the game. Goes to Osgood. Osgood with four seconds. Goes to Lane, puts it up right and in. Him. And at the 66 to 62 final, as Central Rustic wins, and more importantly, it'll be a Rustic final in Class D, Washburn against Central Rustic, and that hasn't been done in a long time, Bill, because of Jonesport deal. Well, I think it's going to be a good ball game. This one here was well played. I thought that uh, people had said before that Billy McAvoy's club might come in here and just be a, a sure way of going in number one and being 14 and four. But Randy Harris said, hey, I'm going to show you that our ball club is uh, to be reckoned with, and they are. They've got some kids back next year. Uh, very impressed with Sawtell. The Osgood boy did a real nice job, and Brown did. Uh, Billy McAvoy's group is uh, well-drilled also. They had some real good offensive plays by the, the foul shooters, as was indicated at the end of the game there. Uh, just looking across the way there, there's Bob Leahy is bringing uh, Coach Billy McAvoy over, and the first person to Billy McAvoy next to... Uh, Coach Randy Harris, the next one that came over to see him was Randy little trivia Harris. No, little trivia question. Oh, I, I didn't hear. I was what? I was getting hit by my adoring fans. Beatrice, here. Beatrice McNally. Oh, over yes. gave Billy Beatrice the big McNally. hug and uh, Bob Leahy. Go ahead. You have the uh, coach Billy McAvoy. Thank you very much, Billy. And uh, we have Bill McAvoy here. Bill. Uh, uh, the final score again: Central Rustic 66, Lee Academy 62. This afternoon, Machias won over uh, Central Rustic.